Um, I want to show you, I think that on like my online dashboard, I wanted to show you, um, it's, it's really, it could be fun for the 4-H kids because it's a good resource for them. Um, you have to do all the training, you have to do it all, but it's a great, you know, it's a great resource. And I have a private Facebook page that we, people post ideas but they also ask questions in. And then I have a forum that, yeah, you know, gets in kind of a deeper discussion about. And then the videos, the training courses, um, there's even e-collar training in there. So from clicker training to e-collar training, like it's all in there. So I just wanted to show you guys if it's something that, you know, may be of interest or to help the kids, it's $30 a month, but I can do a coupon code for them where it drops it down to $12 a month and they get everything as well. So affordable um, and a great resource. So I just kind of wanted to show you um, what it is and see if it's something that could potentially be beneficial for you sure. guys and for the 4-H kids. So when you sign up, um, it I have a blog and a podcast. All of that stuff is is for free, but you go into the online courses and it's this Park Walks monthly subscription. The basic basic subscription, you don't get the videos. It's just the this open discussions and and Facebook um, and forum. But on the monthly subscription for the it's forty dollars. Um, then you get all the videos. But again, I'm happy to do a coupon so it gets them down to the twelve. $12 a month and you can cancel at any time. I mean, if there's no, um, you can't, you don't have to commit to anything. So once you get signed up, you get an email and you get the instructions on signing up and then you come in and sign in. Um, you can log in here. Most of the time it should just come up where your member dashboard is open. And when you come in here, um, this is where you join the Facebook community. Um, the forum is, and it, the, the forum actually just went live a week ago, um, and I finally got it in, but um, the, you know, this one, she goes into in-depth about um, her dog was injured, she needs some quiet activities, how to mentally stimulate her, her dog, and we got into a, a good discussion and options, and then um, we, I also transferred it into the Facebook group. So I posted links and stuff like that of different toys and different brain things that she could work her dog in. So, um, so it's a really deep conversation about training and, and what to do and where everything's at with it. Um, so you also go into your access the video library and, and in here, I mean, it's, We've got targeting stuff, um, building confidence through basic obedience and how to do that. Um, out and an out and about course, you know, taking your dog out and about the things that they need to know, and then the training videos for it. Um, house manners is coming. Some of these are still coming as she's um, my partner is getting them all edited. Um, but like, there's a potty training course adventure recall. So, I mean, even Kayla, this would even be a good one to get, you know, to go through to solidify. So as you go through the courses, the videos are right here. Um, and every course has an introduction to it and how to, how to use it and what we're talking about. And then it goes through every step. Um, some of the videos are longer than others. This is a nine minute video on hand feeding and the importance of it and what that looks like um, to um, having your dog on a leash in the house and what that looks like and explaining all of that. And so as, as you go through them, um, um, everyone has instructions, what that looks like, um, so you're you're literally getting a step-by-step -step guide through through each course 
Um, and then, you know, and it's designed where you introduce this for a week and then you move on to the next one, wandering and how to wander with your dog and, and the importance of connecting your dog to you. And it creates a better um, off-leash experience, but also creates that connection of them paying attention to you. Um, and so I, every little tidbit of of in my brain and what we're doing is talked about in all of them. So it goes pretty in depth um, in the psychology of it, the tools that I use, how I'm using the tools, all of that. Um, so, and then play, how do you play with your dog and incorporate your come command or your recall? Um, targeting is in here, how to solidify your recall through targeting. Um, and then the finish piece, you know, when you call your dog and have him come sit in front and how to get him into a heel position. So you have a finished piece in here as well. Um, and then teaching stay so I can put my dog in a stay and call them to me. So there's all these exercises of teaching and solidifying that, that recall. Um, the value of loading your dog up on something and um, you know, how you, that loading them up on something stops their brain. So if we're out of the park and there's a lot going on and they're distracted, I can put them up on a bench and get their brain back and make them start thinking with me again, instead of trying to battle the distractions, I can give them a task to do so that I can get their brain back. Um, and then actually going on a hike with me and what that looks like and how I, go on a hike and how I call them and what I'm comfortable with and what's normal behavior in, in a dog. So every course is set up exactly like this. Um, and, and we have obedience, the basic obedience stuff in there. Um, We have a separation anxiety piece, basic obedience, crate training, a leave it course, back tying, clicker training is in there, our safety and emergency recall course, our load up course. So there's all these little things that, you know, as, as you're training and you're going through things, you go, I'm not sure how to do this, or I, you know, I'm not getting it right. There's all the, these videos and resources that you can pop into and, and watch the videos is based on where you're at with it. So um, I thought it might be a good little resource for the 4-H kids to have. I shouldn't say yeah. little kids. It's like, it's just a great thing that's a step-by-step. -step. So I wanted to show it to you just because it could be, um, and I'm, you know, happy to um, set up um, a discount code for it. So yeah. Um, yeah. That would be great. I, and the, and it's, we're talking just right at the right time, I think, because we're just finishing up the year. Uh, they, uh -huh. they have their qualifying show for the state, the Minnesota State uh, Dog Show on the 5th of August. Okay. So mm -hmm. we have like one more training where I haven't, I've been trying to step away a little bit from like being <laughs> so involved with this because I just have too much sure. going on. I've yeah. been trying to like work on my career and then I'm, I'm involved with the women, women's homeless shelter in town. And then, the, then this comes up and it just like, it really extends my time. And I just feel like yeah. I'm, yeah. So I've, I've been helping with it still, but kind of trying to back away and, but still answering questions and being around sure. for like, because there's another person who's helping with the training, but she hasn't ever done 4-H before. She, so she doesn't know like all of the, like the showing things mm -hmm. and the 4-H mm -hmm. piece of it. So they, they still ask me questions and I'm coming in at the end and like helping with like the finishing off piece. Like, so this is yeah. what you guys need to know for the show. And um, don't right. forget like you have to do this. And she doesn't know anything about um, like, um, rally or showmanship she knows about obedience and uh -huh. agility so I do like a little bit of focus stuff on some of the other things for the kids so um this would be good for me to now share at the end for the kids to say okay so if you guys want to continue to work with your dog 
over the yeah. winter, which is what normally that's what people just don't stop working with their dog because they're, you know, with you, it, when you get a dog, you know, you want to continue <laughs> yeah. to work with them, not just when you're in 4-H. So if you want to continue yeah. to work with them throughout the year, here's a good resource for you to keep working with your dog until you come back next year to do more with the 4-H program. Yeah, yeah, so, yeah for sure. Yeah, that would be, that would be okay. great. So should I send this link and the like a coupon code to you, Deanna, in an email? Would yeah. that work yeah. or what, what yeah. would be the best, do you think? I think that would be great. And then okay. um, what I'll probably do is I'll introduce it at these. I will, I'll be with them two more times and then the mm -hmm. year will probably be done. And then I think, so then I'll pass it on to everybody at the last two nights, but then I'll also share it with our extension agent. So sure. that way, okay. if somebody calls and says, hey, you know, we, we heard about this, but we'd forgotten. We're still, we're interested now, then they yeah. still have that information. They can sure. pass it on throughout the, the rest of the year. Yeah. Yeah. And I'm recording this so I can just cut this piece out if you want and send you this video so you can show them what, you know, what it is that might be helpful as well, just so they yeah. can see that they're not going into, into it blindly. Yeah, that would be, sure. that would be okay. perfect. Okay. Give okay. them a little intro. Yeah. 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 It's, I mean, it's been super fun and we still have, again, we have still have a lot more videos coming. Um, she, my business partner, she's, uh, she lived in Costa Rica and is moving back to the States. So she's in transition of everything. So she's like, oh, I'm getting them done. I promise. But yeah, we still have a lot more and she's going to, we're going to do a rally um one as well um oh. so yeah so we're we're just yeah. constantly adding we'll do a tricks one um i'll probably do a force fetching video as well so we're always we have a list of you know just to kind of keep it going and more things that people can do with their dogs and then i do weekly monday evenings i do a zoom call and when you're in here you have access to it and it's coaching so you can request coaching like Kayla, you know, Hey, I, I need help with my intact mail, blah, blah, blah. And so you, I would coach you on that during the zoom calls, but it's open for everybody to join and to ask questions to help with the week. So you can either get individual attention or we have an open discussion and usually it's both. Usually I've coached and then we open it up for open discussion on questions and stuff. So um, and then once a month, I pick a course and I go through the course and I explain and talk about and answer questions that maybe have come up with it as well. So we're pretty active um, at keeping people engaged and being there to answer questions for people. So it's it's been fun to develop and do. Good stuff. Good yeah. stuff. Yeah. So. Hmm. Okay. I will get everything sent over to you then. And, and if it can help them, that's awesome. Cause I think it would be, a, you know, something fun for, to have the kids in here. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Good. Cause I know there's, there's times where like, we're just looking for other ideas. What other things can yeah. we do that to help the kids sometimes we're not really like, well, we've tried all these things. What else can we try now? Yeah. And, yeah. Yeah. And I always think about you. <laughs> <laughs> what else can we do? Let's ask Joe. <laughs> yeah, sure. Sure. Yeah. No, that's great. I love it. Okay. Perfect. Anything else, you guys? On your end of things with the dogs? <laughs>